So we already have four satellites in, in, in orbit. Uh, we launched in September, just passed. Uh, we now have four more satellites in the construction phase. Uh, they'll be uh, shipped to Karoo, to the launch facility, very early of next year, 2014. And we hope to be in operation, service commencement, uh, March or April of next year. Some of the customers are already testing the service right now, and the results are fantastic, just using four satellites. Uh, we expect to go into full-scale commercial service, activating all of the customers that we have around the world, uh, which, are, which are customers coming from every product vertical in every continent, uh, before May of 2014. So we have funded uh, 12 satellites at this point for a total of $1.4 billion. Uh, as I say, the first eight satellites will be in operation by April, May of, of 2014. And we expect to launch satellites 9 to 12 sometime early in 2015. So we, we already have, from the first eight satellites, coverage of around 177 countries around the world, mostly focused on emerging markets and uh, developing countries. Uh, with the addition of satellites 9 to 12, it increases to about uh, 189 countries. Uh, we certainly have enough markets to serve. Um, what we intend to do is to add more capacity to the system to serve those markets. Well, approximately it's 1.2 gigabits per uh, customer beam. Each satellite has 10 beams, so 12 gigabits. Uh, first eight satellites uh, therefore have um, in the order of, of around 100 gigabits of, of capacity, which we can distribute around the world. So we have world-class suppliers, both in terms of space and ground. We have Thales, who manufacture our satellites. We have Ariane Spass that launch them. We have Viasat who provide our teleport infrastructure uh, in several locations around the world. We, they also provide some of our ground infrastructure, particularly high-speed modems. We have General Dynamics who provide uh, the smaller uh, ground terminals, tracking antennas. And we have Comtech and Gilat that also provide uh, advanced modems. The equipment's available now. Most customers have ordered their equipment, both in terms of the modems and the antennas. Uh, we're now in the process of supporting them to, to install and commission, ready for service activation. The performance of the first four satellites has been truly fantastic. It surpassed all of our expectations. All of the engineering assumptions have been met or, or exceeded. Um, the usability of the services is what stands out the most. If you're using the web, you're browsing, you're using Skype, you're, you, you're on uh, YouTube, you, it's a sublime experience. It's, it's extremely fast. It's the kind of connectivity you would expect if you were in an office in New York. So we have a mix. Um, Telecom Cook Islands, for example, are the incumbent operator in the, in, in the Cook Islands, in the Pacifics. So our capacity is supplying all of their telecommunication needs across uh, some 14,000 islanders. So we're the critical telecoms infrastructure to that island, um, to that country. Um, in the case of Royal Caribbean, for example, we're about to integrate into the allure of the seas and the oasis of the seas, the two largest cruise ships in the world. Each one of those cruise ships has uh, well over 6,000 passengers and 2,500 crew. So we're delivering uh, trunking capability, but it's distributed uh, through, through broadband wireless access across the ships. Very simply, we deliver uh, web pages and uh, internet applications at 4.8 times faster than, that, faster than that of regular satellites.